consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Not a minute? Wanted to say something. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from. What ship I was on. Everything. Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it, because it never felt right to do so. I appreciate that. Keep to the shadow. I can't believe Gullum Eyes mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gollum I, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Gollum Eye's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Gollum Eye works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. There are thieves, and then there is Gullum I. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crap. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping and the Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullum Eyes holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. Good luck in solitude. Keep Gullum Eye alive. But remind him.
Hey, let's talk a second. You're making waves around here. I like that. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you, but it'll cost you. It was on a job a few years back. It was supposed to be a simple burglary on a house in Windhelm. Well, it was. Up until the point where we set foot outside. The house was surrounded by town guard. The client had ratted us out. Well, it was. Up until the point where we set foot outside. Vex just tells me to run. So I did. Half of them went after me. The other half went after her. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Vex lost them in seconds. Once she steps into the shadows, she vanishes. Me? I ran. And I ran. Straight through the gates of Windhelm. And all the way back to Riften. Vex was waiting for me at the flagon when I came in. Drenched in sweat. Everyone just took a look at me and laughed. Well, I had forgotten we had our horses tied up just outside of Windhelm. Vex rode hers back and arrived hours before I did. So, that's how I earned the name. Now keep it to yourself. I'll point you to the first and last person you... Treat her right, and she'll make you rich. Try it. So, what do we have here? Hmm, let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. By your scent, I'd say... I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine that just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Is Ellen wins furious. How many times Big party at the or embassy. And one of the guests went something. You might want to rethink that.
to Skyrim. Seems there's always more to be done. The Imperials. Ah, good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Not at all. I consider it an investment, prolonging my life. As far as Gold and Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erengoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice wielding. Why are you following me? I told you, I don't know anything else. Believe. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed, and the legend yet grows. You're not a thief trying to rob me, right? A coin or two? For a veteran, Being old's not so bad. Much to ask. Daughter keeps me fed. My working days are done. If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron in Castle Dower. Bloody good blacksmith, that one. Those rebels think they can best us. They have another thing coming.
Here after all. Is someone there? Ha! Found you!
rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything. Honestly, please, he'll have me killed. No, please. There's no need for that. I'll tell you everything. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Needed to know more. Consider it a gift to ensure your silence. That thing seems to be bringing me nothing but trouble anyway. Carlia didn't even want it. She wanted to keep the sale a secret. I can see how well that went. Now you're speak. Tell you what, if you need any stolen goods fenced, you bring them to me, and I'll pay you good money for them. Consider me your new friend in the North. I asked her the same thing, but now that I know who she is, Maven Blackbriar need if the old If I was Maven, I'd blame the guild for Exactly. For the guild to survive, they need Maven so This Carlia must have spent a lot of time and resources planning this. What did you need? A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Me included. Just 
wanted to let you know. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers.